What's going on guys? I'm Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we're going to go over my review of the DeWalt Articulating Hedge Trimmer. Alright guys, before we jump into this video, I would like to say huge thank you to DeWalt as they did send me these products for review. However, please know that all Thoughts and opinions are still that of my own. Hope you enjoy. All right guys, so these articulating hedge trimmers, this is the faux sol attachment that comes with it. I've had a lot of people ask me, does this work? Well, before we jump into that, let's talk about when you buy, <clears throat> when you buy the faux sol that comes with this extension, then you can just buy the articulating head for the hedge trimmer separately. So you don't have to buy the whole thing. You can literally just buy this head part and without this. So uh, let's put this together with the extension and see if this works because I'm kind of curious as well. A lot of people have asked about it. And so, uh, you know, let's find out if this works together. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm pretty sure it will, but it may not be uh, good for the capacity of it, you know, <clears throat> like uh, once you pick it up from the bottom, let's get a, whoo, that's a long. So without this extension, you're looking at about 12 foot reach. So with it, you're probably going to get about 15. So let's grab a battery here, grab a 5.0 and put in it. And let's see, whoo, let's see if this works. So uh, <clears throat> it does seem pretty steady. It don't seem to be having a lot of bend in it. I don't know if I would hold it from down here or not though. Uh, all the way down here, I don't think I would hold it. I mean, I'd probably hold it here, <clears throat> but it does work with it. So, uh, but I would be scared, honestly, that if you added this, this could, mm, that's a lot of weight up there. So when you're holding it down here by this handle, then it could run into some issues, but it will work. Uh, so if that answers a lot of y'all's questions that I've been getting, will it work with the articulating hedge trimmer the pole saw extension here. Well, there you go. It will work. Let's talk about this thing. Now I've used this thing quite a bit and we're gonna throw a video up here of me trimming some hedges, show you how quiet this thing is, how well it cuts. Now it does 2,800 strokes per minute. This thing is like 7.9 pounds, uh, seven adjustments. So you got 180 degree articulating. So three on each side plus the center here. Now once you get into these, it's nice. Once you get into this one, that movement that I was talking about, uh, it, it really does not mess with you as bad as I thought it would. I was trimming some tall hedges and uh, once you, once, because once you get it against the hedge, then you know it's there. So you know, you can literally do whatever you want to. So uh, it, it really don't mess with you at all which ended up being a great thing battery life man so i use this with a five amp hour battery and uh I'm trying to make sure my phone don't go dead i don't even know if y'all can see the screen behind me but we're going to you know it's a work in progress work with me here uh these things are very comfortable let's start with that okay comfortability these things got it 100 percent. they're very comfortable uh dewalt is very known for comfort in most all their tools i mean most Everything I have that's the wall is very, very comfortable. Uh, you know, their, their jigsaw, their new M12 reciprocating saw, we're gonna do a, a review with that against the Milwaukee. We've got fans, uh, we've got all kinds of stuff coming up for, for y'all. So uh, if you, are looking for articulating hedge trimmers, you've already owned the DeWalt line, even if you don't and you're looking for a lineup, uh, 
you know, these things are totally great because you can, they're so easily stored. Now, we'll get into a separate video talking about the Milwaukee versus the DeWalt, uh, things like that, but we're gonna focus just on the DeWalt on this video. So, 2,800 strokes per minute, 22 inch uh, cut swath on these. They come with a blade sheath as well, very nice. They also come with a strap that will strap right here if you needed that. Uh, I found that you know you really don't need it. They're very lightweight, very quiet, and man, these things cut through some stuff. Now, compared to other battery power things, 2,800 strokes per minute is kind of low. Uh, you know, I mean, let's be honest. 2,800 strokes per minute is kind of low for battery powered uh, hedge trimmers but they still fly through some stuff just like we're gonna show you in the video here. So let's jump into the video, show you how quiet these things are, and then we'll come back. All right, so let me know what you think of these things. They seem to cut real well. Now, runtime on a, this kit comes with a four amp hour battery. I used a five amp hour battery, not even thinking, grabbed a five. But with the five amp hour battery, I got right at an hour of constant runtime, constant. That's nonstop holding the trigger down for one hour. So I think it was like an hour and three minutes with the five. So uh, now that was not cutting the whole time. That was just trying to get an estimate for the runtime of this thing. So if you're looking, 
uh, for the four amp that comes with this, you're probably going to get around 40 minutes or so cutting consistently. You might get around 50 minutes. So, you know, but around that 40 to 50 minute stage is probably what you're going to get with the four amp. Like I said, now I grabbed the five amp and the five amp I used for about 20 minutes on the shrubs that you've seen. Uh, did some more around the back of the house and then I just full throttled it and uh, let it run until it just died. So with the five amp, once again, you got a little over right at an hour and three minutes with uh, you know the run time of it. So a four amp, once again, you're probably gonna be looking around 40 minutes, 50 minutes uh, max, depending on how thick the stuff is you're, you're doing and things of that nature. So uh, now these things, <coughs> you can buy with, so you can, let's say you bought the post on, okay? And you just wanted to buy this. Uh, I'm not sure what the price of this is. Now I know you can buy this, with the pole saw when you buy it for around $300. Uh, that comes with the kit, the battery four amp hour, and uh, so the kit. Now, if you were looking to just buy the kit of this with four amp hour battery charger, then uh, you also get what you see here, plus a strap and the battery charger. Uh, you're gonna be looking at around $220. And then if you wanted to buy just the tool only of this, both parts, because you already got batteries, chargers, thing of that nature, then you're gonna be looking at 150. So uh, warranty, DeWalt's warranty is, is you know, always, it's been great. Uh, 90 day money back guarantee. How can you go wrong when you buy these, you don't like them, you have 90 days money back guarantee. Then you have a one year uh, service free warranty and then a three year unlimited warranty. So, uh, you know, hey, these are something you're looking forward to, been looking at, things of that nature. Feel free if you're, you know, already got all the DeWalt stuff, to pull the trigger on these if you need them. These things are absolutely great. Slide together, just, oh man, they're so easy to put together and very easily to store as well. So, uh, you know, I thought the one thing I would, I would not like was all of that. But once you get in there and you start going to do a bush, then uh, you know it's pretty much already set for you anyway. You're not gonna have to because you're pushing against the bush and going up. So uh, the only thing I would really like to see with these, honestly, is more strokes per minute. So 2,800 strokes per minute is still gonna get the job done. It's just not gonna let you fly through it as fast as you would be able to with say, you know, a 3,400 stroke per minute. Now the time difference between that, you're probably really not gonna notice anyway. This cuts also up to one inch thick, uh, up to one inch thick. Most cut up to three quarters inch, they say. This actually uh, says one inch. It will cut up to one inch. Now, uh, you know, it, like I said, it's been totally great for, for the time I've used it, for everything else that I've done with it. Uh, and so you really couldn't go wrong with this thing if this is something you're looking at. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, if there's some things I didn't go over, then uh, like I said, just ask me down below. I'll be more than happy to answer your question on this. We're not gonna get into, you know, hey, how's it compared to the Milwaukee PAS and things of that nature. We'll get into things of that uh, in a, at a later time. But uh, you know, hey, DeWalt, they, they really, with their series this year that they came out with of everything that's just so compact, you can just take it apart and very easily store all of it. So thanks for watching, guys. We're getting closer to that 10K mark. So uh, if you ain't subscribed, smash the subscribe button while you're here. If you have any questions, once again, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, even if you have comments, hey, of course comment down below let me know so thanks for watching guys we will see you in the next one